right, guys, welcome back to another episode here on the Existence SMP Season 3 server. Uh, my name is Dash, and we have got some plans today to do some big things that are really going to help out the community, I think. As you can tell, in between last episode and this one, I worked on uh, just getting myself a little path and stuff started. I didn't do too much, because this episode we are going to be making paths around, or at least laying them out, and then making some bridges over these rivers and interconnecting a lot of things. Like, I'm going to make probably continue this down until it meets up with that, and then make a bridge here. And we're just going to do a little bit of cleanup around our spawn area and really start to pretty it up. Um, and then we'll probably also do some stuff over on this side, but not yet uh because i have plans to do something special on this hill and this hill uh that we may do in the next episode or the one after that or something um but yeah i can go on ahead and grab our materials and we're just going to be using this except in the snow area we're also going to add diorite uh in the snow biomes because it looks like dirty snow like people have like been walking on it and stuff so we're just getting like stone uh, stone breaks, a lot of stuff like that. Let's go ahead and grab some diorite, and then cobblestone, and then gravel, which I'm probably going to have to mine some more of. I can even find it. I thought it was... Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to have to get more gravel, because especially because that's the main block I'm going to use. Um, let's make them. Oh, more of those. And we can go on ahead and put it down. Oh, phone going off. Bad YouTuber. Um, but yeah. So essentially, I'm just going to keep doing this path uh, and working it around. I'm not exactly sure where I want them to go yet. Uh, I may talk with some people in the community, but I'm going to ease this one down around my base lower and lower uh, to meet up with that, uh, I'm pretty sure. And then uh, definitely do a bridge here, probably do a bridge from this area to the farming area, and then I'll probably do a bridge somewhere over here on this side of the dock, here to here, and then there to there. And then I'll connect the pass up here and here, and then just get some basic stuff going. So I'm going to work on laying this out, and then I will be back. All right, as you guys can tell, I've done a little bit of work here, just working on this path, getting it fully uh, transitioned down, and got a little bridge here. And we also have the starts of a little retaining wall, and I've hidden lighting underneath these carpets. Uh, and I've also made sure that ice cannot grow on the coastline here by just spamming torches. Um, I'll probably do, you know, more hidden lighting. Um, but for right now, the torches is working fine. And I've also still try. I mean, it's too bright for snow layers to form when it snows. But I put, like, diorite, which looks like dirty snow and snow blocks along here. So it's still, you can tell that this is, in fact, a, a snowy biome. And this will extend all the way back here. And then that will go to Brayden's. A uh, little spawn home uh, eventually so that's what I've done so far oh and this is going up to the post office uh, but me and Brayden got a little bit sidetracked uh, by a village over in the Tyaga biome and we wanted to get a mending villager so here's some footage um, of us uh, messing around with villagers and trying to do that all right I made it to the river okay sweet just follow the river for a bit and you'll find you'll see me uh, okay. What's up? Hey. The start of our of our village right here. Uh, if you <laughs> place beds in there, then they'll probably run in here. I can't move. You're gonna have to break the boat. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Get the water. Get the water. Oh. Made it past the bridge. Okay. Oh, I can't make a minecart. I need two iron. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, uh, two iron. can you grab it from your, two iron from your, wait, it's like, well, I just need one iron, it's five, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, I need one iron. Okay. 
Okay, break this. Jump up. Here, let me block that. Can we push him into it? I'm all out of mine cards, so. Or maybe we can get him to jump up onto one of these blocks. So, come on, man, move. Don't push it, because then it'll fall down this way. Okay. Oh. Just gotta wait for him. Just a waiting game. <laughs> Can I push him like this? There we go. It's off. Oh man. And then I can break that, the one, and put a lectern. Is he on a mine or a rail track? Yep, he's on a rail. Right Boom, dude. We've got okay. a mending villager. Now, do I need to put glass right there so he can see to the surface? Does that matter? Wait, what? Does he need to be uh, able to see daylight? Like above him? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay. So, dude, dude we got a mending villager. Dude, we got a mending villager. <laughs> we're not. We're a week in. A week in tomorrow, we, and we have a mending villager. <laughs> nice. <laughs> in a very, just like rushed little trading hall <laughs> i think we need to get another villager though yeah yeah we do. but for now this is fine yeah we still i won't break this i won't break this rail we can bring the farmer and like, yeah and, yeah i can do i can work on that all right, all right. thank you man Welcome. We're, gonna, we're gonna do this dude just so happy that I know, we got so him a new villager. We'll, we'll have to build a shop soon you and me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed those clips of us uh, working on the villager and then uh, finally getting him right into this spot. So as I told Brayden, uh, I'm going to try and get, we also have a farming villager uh, from the clips earlier if we showed it. Um, and I'm going to try and get him here and then, you know, maybe we can do some breeding on the side or whatnot. But right now, all I really need is a farming villager and this guy. Um, so yeah, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going to clear out some space and do some farmland right here and do some carrots or, and potatoes right down underneath the house. So it, I can just come harvest this stuff, trade with the villagers, get a mending book, uh, that simple and that easy. Uh, right here under the base. So yeah, I know we kind of <laughs> took a weird turn on this episode, but I'm really happy we did. So yeah. All right. So a lot has changed since we last left off, and I can show you just what if you come down here. So I've got a carrot farm going right here, and we've got some villagers right here. I bred these two because I wanted to get like another farmer with a potato trade, or you know another librarian with some good trades. Um, but he came out and he already had uh, a profession, which I thought was weird. But I can you know breed breed these guys again and then uh take him and uh the offspring or whatever and they can become our breeding villagers um but essentially yeah um these guys love us so much now uh because i put them up right next to each other using this trapdoor trick and they can talk and be like yeah this guy's a good guy you trade so like one emerald and one book for mending and one paper for an emerald which is wait speaking of that's really good. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, get some sugar cane real quick and do that. Because uh, what they do, uh, I think it's a, it's definitely an exploit. Um, it has to do with them talking to each other and them being in water. But it makes it to where they're gonna be having a quote unquote cell like pretty much all the time, um, which mean really like takes their prices down even lower than what they like come down to. Um, like for liking you so look boom just like that wait how come i only got one emerald for that yeah it's very very glitchy it charged me the, the cost here even though it only says one again very glitchy system but yeah um but i've also done some stuff down here we should go down right here and uh this is where i've been spending a lot of my time got a big potato field and wheat field that uh, we can harvest uh, for food and for trading um and then i started doing 
this is temporary this is going to get torn out because this is ugly and a bad design um but yeah I like melons over there because he also has a melon trade we can come up here and i haven't done much uh paths or bridges but that's what i'm gonna do now i'm done with the villagers for now i've got like 17 mending books uh stocked up uh just stowed away safely uh so i'm going to uh can continue resume working on spawn again and on the bridges so i think i'm going to make a bridge that arches from here to there and then do a path and then from there to there and then do a path and then from there to here so i'm going to crank out these final few bridges and pathways and then i will uh come back and we will finish off the episode all right guys as you can tell i have been doing some work i've built two other bridges and worked on the pathways and the sides a lot now if you keep uh, lighting on the edges then the ice will not form because they can only form from solid blocks they can't just like form like here um so essentially what we have to do is we have to find a way to light up the sides so i have done light a ton of lighting underneath carpets uh i've got glowstone here and then white carpet to make it blend in with the snow on top it's a little weird um from this view but I mean, re what really can we do? I mean, there's not much we can do um, from, you know, other than this, uh, other than like putting uh, like torches like along the side, like a lot. Uh, if y'all have suggestions, please comment them down below. Uh, I'd love to hear them. Uh, but yeah, so I've done some bridges. I've got one more bridge to build right here, uh, but I'm all out of time for this episode. So I hope you guys understand uh sorry about that but i have done quite a bit of work uh, i'm actually going to see avengers in game with my father now i'm back from university um pretty much at the start of this episode right when i i started this episode pretty much the day after i got back uh from uni uh for summer so yeah uh but i've got big plans for the next episode uh, a few ideas of what we can do um, we could either do a shop with Brayden for the mending books or we can work on some things over here or we can work on our base or do, do some other things essentially around spawn. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I really enjoyed making it because now we have mending on everything uh, and it's super nice and we're going to start making a ton of profits here shortly. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Dash. If you really enjoyed the video, uh, please you know leave a rating, comment down below and uh, subscribe if you want to. And as always, thanks for watching.